What's up guys and welcome back to more Mafia Definitive Edition. If you guys have been keeping up with the series, you guys know that in the last episode we took out Galati. We're basically trying to take down all of Morello's rackets so we can make him come out and we can basically take him out far more easier than it would be to take him out now when he has more people than us. Then after that mission, we did a mission where we had to take out his little brother, Sergio. But then it turned bad because the bomb that we planted on the car killed, I'm guessing his wife, which it went all bad. Then after that, we found out where he's at. We took him out. The way we took him out was crazy. But with that, guys. Let's get into the next part. Let's get into the video. Creme de la creme. Maybe After cream de la Sergio, cream. It was chaos for weeks. Our guys against their guys, and Morello gone to ground. But a boss can't stay hidden forever. Oh, for a dog damn. To be feared, he's got to be seen. Finally, word came through that he was gonna break cover. Morello wants to thumb his nose at us. Taking a show like there's not a war on, we'll meet him in the streets. We do him like this. We wait outside the theater till the end of the show. All those rich assholes will start coming out. That's when we hit Morello and his gorillas in a crowd before they see us coming. The theater is going to be packed, and not just with seps. There's a good chance the mayor, maybe even the chief, might be there, too. That's the goddamn point, Tom. We kill Morello in public, in front of the city's creme de la creme. Then they'll all know who's in charge. And it doesn't matter if you have a badge or a gavel or a fat wad of cash in your pocket. If you cross Salgari and his boys, you're dead. Okay, boss. We'll get it done. Take the machine guns. Make sure you don't draw attention to yourselves hanging around outside the theater. You keep the choppers hidden until you spot Morello. And then you light them up. I want it to look like that white suit is covered in roses. You got it? Sure, boss. Damn, Salieri. What's been happening to you? This is it. We're finally doing this. Keep your head. We got to get to the theater before the show's over. Tom, you're driving. Real Joe, can't y'all drive? Word, boys. Morello dies tonight. Tonight? Shit. Good luck, guys. No, take off the music. Music has been getting me Tom. copyrighted. I can't believe after all these years we're finally going to keep forgetting to take it out. Not his crew, not his family. Finally putting him in the ground. We're putting a lot of history to rest. What happens when he's gone? We'll be kings. Nah, I mean, what happens with the Don? You think he'll be all tore up? I think he'll start wearing a nice white suit. You boys doing all right? Yeah, just sweating bullets. You look how I feel. Nearly there. Let's keep it together. When we see him, go for Morello. No one else. Once he's down, these guys will panic. We're actually doing this. He's been up against the boss for what, 10 years? More. You'd think that white suit would make him an easier target. So we're finally doing it. We're taking out Morello. Wow. Ooh, sorry. You drive like this in your old job. I see him. Let him have it. You got him. We got cops on us. 
Bunch of them were staked out around the theater. Last time they get paid off by Morello, tomorrow they're ours. off in the back streets. I know this city better than anyone. Don't worry. This is gonna be a squeeze. Morello's gotten himself a good driver, but he doesn't match you, Tom. Come on, I'm trying to catch up. Shit, he's going to the airport. The truck. He's got a plane? Of course he's got a goddamn plane. There'll be more guys waiting. Good. We need to clean house. He's gotta die. This guy's gotta die. Okay, but let's keep us three off your list. They only just fixed up the airport since the last time. He's got muscle waiting. I see him. Got him.
Wait, what the oh. hell? No, I didn't even see him. Oh, and they had a sniper. Yep, I see the sniper. What the fuck? Damn, Seven Polly. They're all down, Tom. <laughs> you good, Polly? Yeah, you're not getting out. Sam, you're in the way. Damn. Come on, come on, come on. Into that car! Tommy, up front. The best shot out of all of us. Get in the damn car! I'm in the damn car. Get us into the air! We don't have the speed! This isn't gonna work! It has to work! 
He's in a okay. fucking play. Can it let me shoot? He's not out of here yet. There we go. I'm taking the wheel. Why? Cuz I'm the guy that drives. And now we got a plane to catch. Okay, here's what's happening. We follow it. We see where it lands. We rush in all guns blazing and we finish him off. No way that bird's staying in the sky. That thing's not gonna land, it's gonna crash. That's not gonna help us keep a low profile. Anyway, that thing's not gonna land, it's gonna crash. It look uh, aeronautic to you. Well, thank Christ we got you in the car, Professor. Morello's not gonna walk away from a plane crash. That's a maybe, but he ain't dead till we've seen him dead. Out of all of us, you two should know that by now. Where's he trying to crap? We got cops. Okay, arrest the guy. So what was I saying? Oh, right. Where's he trying to take it? Maybe out near the racetrack. More chance of landing it safe outside the city. Hell are maybe, but it's not gonna be safe. Wherever he comes down, we'll be there soon after. Is it gonna go? Yep. Yeah. Oh, wow. You drive like this in your old job. We'll get him next time. Anyway, is it gonna no go? Gonna survive. Yep. Yeah. That was a lot of smoke. It's go. I can't believe we did this. I know. Don't seem real. Stay alert with your guns close. We've come too far to get lazy at the end. We don't have long. Every cop in the city is gonna be on his way. We get out, we check the wreckage, we leave. Got it? Sure we do. Okay, here we are. He can't be alive after that. He's still alive. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Bastard's dead, he doesn't even know it yet. He knows it now. Yeah, pal. That'll do it. Come on. Let's make tracks. See you on the other side, Marku. That was a crazy ass mission. He finally took on Morello. Now, what does this mean for the Mafia family? Does this mean we get to make more money? You fucking phantom. I've been chasing you for three goddamn years. You do life for this, Tom. Maybe you in the chair. You don't want the guy who was punching tickets. You want the guy who was handing them out. So that's what this has been all about, huh? You offering up Salieri. The nuns' books. The ones Frank stole. I have them. They're enough to put Salieri away forever, and they're yours. Assuming we have a deal. My family for the Don. You recognize anyone? 
Look again. <sighs> Old man that's Don Papone, two younger lads of Morello and Salieri. Yeah. Okay, I see it. That must be what? 1920? April. Morello's wedding. Salieri was the best man. Jesus. They're just kids. Now they're Eddie's soldiers in Papone's mob. <laughs> so what happened? How did they go from being best mates to Morello on the slab? I don't know. I didn't even know they were friends. <laughs> but you don't know could fill up the fucking Chrysler building. In 22, Papone drowns up at the lake. Right? In order to keep things running smoothly, Salieri and Morello to divvy up the city. Yeah, I heard the story, so what? Well, their friendship should have made the deal work, but didn't make a lick of difference. After Morello, Salieri was beaming, thinking we ran the whole damn town. Me, I was just happy the war was over. But then I got to thinking about something. What good? It was all of Morello's money if it couldn't protect him from a regular Joe like me. Cabby, for Christ's sake. It only got him one thing. A great big bullseye in his fucking forehead. And that thought, it just kept turning round and round in my head until one day, I'm looking in a mirror. I start seeing a bullseye too. Right here. Dry your tears in the water hundreds, do you? I wasn't about to give up the good life, I know that. I just told myself that I was smarter than Morello. That I wouldn't turn around one day and find Polly or Sam pointing a gun at my head. The thing is, you don't see it. When you're out on the street, scrapping, fighting for your life, and the guy next to you isn't just your partner. He's your brother. You'd stick a knife in someone for your brother, right? But at night, you lie awake, wondering what he and Adam were whispering about behind the bar. Wondering if your best friend is hungry enough to betray you. Oh, sounds like someone's gonna betray someone. Damn, this game is getting really good and intense. Ele election campaign, 1938. Any trouble? No bus, no trouble at all. Got something else for me? Always feels a little light. There's a little extra in mind to cover the difference. You ever go swimming, Tom? Been to the shore a few times, sure. I knew a couple of guys once. Took some dames out to the lake. Had a few beers, a few laughs. Then one of them decides to go in the water. Gets to the center of the lake and realizes he's running out of steam. Can't make it back in. Start shouting for help. Now the other guy, he's a strong swimmer. He goes out in the lake to drag his buddy back to shore. Problem is, the first guy, the one too stupid to know when the water's too deep for him, he panics. Grabs his friend by the neck and they both go under and don't come up again. Paulie's your friend. And I know you're loyal to him. And I respect that. But don't you ever pay his tab again. Okay, boss. Good. Now, we gotta talk about this Turnbull. The guy running for governor? The same. He's been flapping his gums a lot about cracking down on our businesses. That's rich. 
He spent more on whores than Paulie and Sam combined. <laughs> you want me to pay him a visit? Maybe put him on a take? No. You can't trust the hypocrite, Tom. We need to end his campaign aspirations, and in a way that keeps anyone from stepping up to the same platform. Vinny have a plan then? Of course. Turnbull's holding a rally near Central Island. The spot he picked is hard to reach and out in the open. Should have a beautiful view of the rally from the tower of the old prison. From there, you give Turnbull a third eye. Okay. I'll go see Vinny about the gun. But don't forget, you only got one shot. You miss, and this crew will usher him out of there quick. I'm the best shooter you got. Otherwise, you'll be talking to someone else. Then get it done. Okay, let's go talk to Vinny. Hey, handsome. <laughs> Ladies? You're wasted on that wife of yours. You know that? Uh, he'll never look our way. I need to shut up. I'm married. Hey, Tommy. The boss says you got something for me. Yeah, I got a shipment in from a guy at Fort Stanmore. Well, Salieri wants this to run like clockwork, so no heat till the guy's head bursts. I hit little Tony, stash one of these, where you need it. So, up high in the old prison? Yeah. Family's got a lot of history in that place. Hoods who live there now ain't so classy. So watch yourself. Little Tony locked the rifle up tight in the room with a view. Up on the top floor. Sick of that politician shit in the papers, Tommy. We own this town now. Right between the eyes, huh? Find a way inside and make for the guard tower. Okay, let's take our car. Copyright that can't do anything bad. Sorry. Okay. What is up with me today? Find a way into the prison. Hey, fella, come over. You with Tony? Yeah. Your friend said you wanted the guard tower. Bade me to mark the way with this sign. Folks go through the sewer. Only way in. Then just keep heading up.
car? Someone's coming. No. Well, you ain't one of us. You're not welcome here. I'm warning you, mister. What you going to swing again? Now we're in the actual prison. Okay. Why can't you people just leave us be? Huh? This is our home. Why can't you people understand that? I'm not even bothering you, man. Is that you, cop? You're locked up tight, not getting in. Someone's coming through. <laughs> Can use the medkit. You know the guard tower. It's uh, up through the main cell block. Keys locked most of the time. Keep the feds out. Thanks. Be careful in here, stranger. We're protective of our own. Okay, I'll watch my back then. Okay, here's a sign. Where the heck is this guard tower? Where's the sniper? Okay, here it is.
Okay, go, 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 go. Oh crap. Oh. Uh, get up, Tommy, get up, get up. How long have I been out? I'm sorry, officer, but I need to do this. Tommy, switch, switch. Just keep coming over here. Let's try over here. Yeah.
Let's try there. Don't you weigh that gun! I'm sorry, but I gotta run. Come on, come on! Oh my god, oh my god! Okay, come on guys. There's mad freaking cops. How is it? How am I supposed to run them out? I mean, run away from them. a crazy ass chase the cops in this game don't play any games
you hear about this Turnbull? Heard he was crooked as the day is long. Says in the paper he's going to be remembered for fighting to pass the 19th Amendment. Put his whole career on the line for it. Which one was that again? Woman suffrage, you idiot. He gave me the right to vote, Tom. Gave it to his wife and six daughters, too. Guess nobody's just one thing, are they? Guess not. I gotta go to work. <sighs> Tom, don't do nothing you don't want to be remembered for, you hear me? Probably too late for that. <laughs> Oh god. I still can't believe that the cops were that crazy trying to get to me. Could even almost outrun them. That was crazy. Well guys, I'm gonna end it here. Thank you for tuning in to another YouTube video. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.